it's now quarter past eight on Sunday the 14th of August heading out on yet another storm chase uh, quite a big setup today severe thunderstorms forecast excuse this angle by the way I'm driving here and I just set the phone on the dash the steering wheels in the way but uh, we're out chasing all day elevated thunderstorms since five o'clock in the morning over Tyrone and Sparrows loads of rumbles but because they're elevated uh, no structure no images uh, there's a chance of surface based severe storms this afternoon but it never happened because of uh, the cloud cover killed the solar heating but now back to elevated storms it's late evening time the last couple of hours there's been a very strong thunderstorm below the border it started off around Mayo moving northeast slow moving uh, it's producing a lot of lightning and torrential rainfall it, looks, it looked organized and sheared actually on the radar and it's moving into an environment here on the border of Northern Ireland on over about uh, 30 plus knots deep layer shear. So I'm hoping the storm will stay active. I'm not expecting any structure but I'm hoping to see some lightning. It's still dark enough here in Northern Ireland yet for, any, for a night shoot but the light is dropping a little bit with the cloud cover. So I'm just hoping we get to see some sparks from this very active storm. Uh, it's currently tracking northeast over the border. Parts of it could be hitting near Armagh or Ochnacloy, even near Oma, and maybe heading further east if it survives. So I'm heading to Oma here to meet Paul Martin and hof hopefully maybe meet up with John Fagan somewhere as well, see what we can do with a storm. Uh, it is a very good storm, so I couldn't sit at home, I had to go out and chase it. The, the lure was too much. Behind it, there are other cells as well. The Met Office have an amber, a rare amber thunderstorm warning out for Northern Ireland this evening and tonight. Uh, so we're hoping there's more elevated storms after this one. It's been a long time since we had a night show, a night kind of night lightning, so I'm hoping tonight is the night. Um, I'm trying to drive as safely and as fast as I can here to Oma. I'm currently on the Kirkstown to Oma Road. And the visibility is pretty bad. There's almost like a, a very low haze or mist, so it will be difficult to shoot night lightning unless you're on an elevated, elevated viewpoint or maybe maybe the rain will clear it out a bit, I don't know. But it is what it is, so I'm going to head it here and see what we get. I'll check in later. Okay, on our way for a late evening storm chase, heading towards Oma and County Tyrone to meet up with Paul Martin to intercept uh, an organised, elevated, very strong thunderstorm that's been going for several hours. Whether or not it's still alive and it meets us, I'm not sure, but when I left the house, it was flashing away with a lot of in cloud lightning and CGs. Very big red and white cores on the radar. The forward side of it seems to be strengthening as it tracks slowly northeast. Uh, the sheared aspect of it definitely looked somewhat like supercellular traits. Very interesting storm. Best one in the whole country. So we'll see. I just need the light to drop. I need it to get darker <laughs> to see these sparks. So we'll see how, how I get on from here. Okay, uh, it is now five past nine. I've met up with Paul Martin and Oma and we changed location to near Bali Gully. Uh, we met John Fagan. Uh, for looking at the radar, the cell seems to shift a little bit more eastward, so we're changing our intercept position to somewhere between Ochnacloy and Armagh. We're not quite sure yet, we're just trying to find some decent countryside that's open where we can see the storm. The bottom south end of the storm is still going, still producing lightning. Definitely very well organised thunderstorm. Uh, so in front of me there is Paul with his partner Tracy and up ahead John Fagan. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, we're continuing further south now, outside Up the Cloy. Um, I've just seen the first flash of lightning of this evening. Uh, the sail is uh, very elevated. I can see the Castellan's sort of laminar look to it on the forward flank side of it. Whole big wall of precip, in cloud bolt and I can hear a lot of distant rumbling. So we're trying to get to the southern end of it, so we're a bit closer to that big updraft that's organised. But it uh, looks like we're uh, getting close to a good location here. The storm is kicking off, we're in the right area more or less. We'll see what we can get. Okay, we're now on our thunderstorm. The forward flank of it to my right hand side. There's some piece up in front as well. We're still trying to find a good position, a good view of the sky. But I'm seeing flashes of lightning here to my 10, 11 o'clock. Very regular. I got a call from Nigel. That storm has a white core on radar. Yep, the sky's lighting up with lightning. Here, uh, almost purple. 
All right, here we go. We're pulling over. Okay, hold on. Okay, we pulled over here. We to the South Rock McCloy. We're struggling to find a good location, but we pulled over to the side of the road. Whole sky's lighting up beside us here. Whole forward flank of this. A highly sheared storm and away to the left. The updraft's hidden behind the trees here. It is flashing away, very active, very strong core on radar. And we're here with everybody. Paul, Tracy, John. Whoa! <laughs> oh. This is the one. It's very hard to pick them up on. Aye. Nice. She's getting. I'm not getting any of them. <laughs> I'm even, I'm below. There you should drop a wee bit. That's the only thing. One nine eight. See that? There's one back in here. Is that CD? It's a log, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's right up. That's how it's way back to the Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
And that's the second cell behind it. Wow. Check that. See where these are coming. It's really difficult to shoot. Check. Make it lucky. Oh, CG! CG! Got it! Have to. <laughs> Might have got that with a star tree already. Oh, I hope not. Seen it. Proper.